Yeah, so guys, here we go. We're on the webcam here now, and the camera is still on the side of my face. Um, uh, just in case you guys are wondering, that's going to be here. Um, I put this on. There's a little just um, window here, and Audacity running there just to make sure everything's going okay. But um, I only have this here just to show you guys the actual DPI and things like that. But first of all, I'm going to go onto the keyboard. Okay, keyboard is pretty savage. Okay, there's buttons here, just uh, two buttons here that you normally wouldn't have. I don't know what they normally would be. I'm going to compare it. Um, I actually don't know what that button is, but there's one button missing and it gives extra two buttons instead. Okay, so this one changes the colors. As you guys can see, in the two cameras there actually. <laughs> uh, oh, look, I actually never even noticed this plastic bit here. That's actually a nice touch. It's on the other side as well, but you guys, oh, you guys can't actually see. That's the side you guys are seeing. Shads, yeah, pretty cool. I like to keep it on the purple. It's nice and bright. The blue looks nice. I want to like the blue, but my case is red, but I don't like the red. Um, then this button over here, that's how you turn up and down the brightness. Uh, I read a lot of reviews, and there are people talking about that it was, um, like it was really loud keys. But I'm going to give you guys a little test for that. Um, so I'm going to search here now. If Windows 8 wants to like me. We're just going to notepad okay just test this out you guys can actually see this on the screen as well and um, let's just go I like it I actually really like it it feels nice and solid it was 16 pounds on Amazon but to me it feels pretty solid like you know I don't have any complaints about it Um. That's mainly all the keyboard has. That's all it has really to it. Just change the colors. I thought it might even have multimedia buttons on it, but it doesn't. But that's okay because it's not like I'd be dragging this over to my bed anyway to play stuff. I'd probably just drag this and just use this because it's it's wireless, you know. And it'll be nice and handy to have it on my little table over there. But for gaming, I'm gonna be definitely using this one. It's gonna work really well now. It's gonna look nice on my live streams. I have two webcams now as well, so for live streams. I'm gonna have one camera on the mouse and one camera down at my fist. Right, okay, so now we're gonna go over to the mouse, okay? So the mouse has two um buttons on it as well. I think it's got like macro keys, don't they? I haven't set those to anything yet, I haven't figured that out yet, but it is gonna come nice handy. Like uh, it they do feel kinda <coughs> mushy, but they only mush after you click. So it's not like you have to press down really hard to get them. As soon as you click, then there's just a load of empty space where it's just kind of mush. That doesn't matter. Um, there's two of those there. And then you have the DPI button here as well. So now I'm going to test out the DPI. Okay, so I don't actually know what setting this is on. But as you can see here now, and then I go like this, and change it again. I think this is 2400 2004, now. If I press it again. No, no, this is 2400, guys. As you see how little I'm using the mouse, but if you look at this little camera down here, that you can see how fast it's moving and then if I click it then again it goes really slow and it's changing up the DPI's it's a nice little touch Um, for the price that this is 16 pounds about 25 euros but it's just bastard at the postage and packing um, so I recommend but it is prime so you can like say if you're ordering other things the price would go down you wouldn't have to pay for the postage but the price that actually is for the sixteen pounds, it's nice. Like you are getting well what you pay for. Like do you know what I mean? I absolutely have no problems with it. It's nice. It's so much better than just your basic Logitech keyboard. It feels nice and solid. I'd actually be happy working on co even college assignments typing with this because it the feel of it's just nice. It feels like an actual premium keyboard. The only thing that probably made it this price probably is the build quality. Okay, so like the mouse does feel a little slippy. Okay, it does kind of slip a little bit, but I'm sure I'll get used to that. This is just my first ever gaming mouse, and it will take a little bit of time to get used to. Uh, the keyboard, um, I'll try to show this. It does bend a little, but I don't know if premium keyboards do this as well. But when you're typing, it doesn't actually bend. It's nice and solid. Absolutely no complaints. The only thing I would like on it would be multimedia. Um, keys as well but then it obviously wouldn't be the 16 pounds that it was um, now I know I can't actually show right now 
how bright these keys are but it's very bright especially at night time you're not going to have any trouble i'll try and put a little bit of shadow on it but no it's not going to work i'm just doing nothing here now but yeah it's nice and solid nice and premium i absolutely just have no complaints and um, so that's it guys do not forget to subscribe and like and comment and everything like that and um, a lot of videos coming up here now as well and um, me and my beautiful girlfriend are playing <laughs> um playing brothers um, a tale of two sons is actually becoming quite entertaining for us now I can't wait to see how it ends up but yeah anyway guys uh, just don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh, uh, follow me on twitter as well I normally up, uh, post up on twitter before I go live streaming as well um, but anyway guys that's it peace out and take care